On Friday, Senator Rand Paul was assaulted by his neighbor, and now his attacker may face some pretty serious charges. Now, Doug Stafford, who is Paul's chief of staff, said in a statement on Sunday that the senator has five rib fractures, including three displaced fractures, meaning that the bones are partly or completely cracked. Paul has lung contusions that are caused by these broken ribs. Uh, and his recovery could last several months. Now, these fractures can cause other significant medical problems, uh, including internal bleeding, bleeding, damage to other organs, or pneumonia. Now, his neighbor, uh, Rene Boucher, is uh, the alleged attacker, and here is a picture of him. Now, he was released Saturday on a $7,500 bond, according to the county jail records, uh, and he is scheduled to appear in court on November 9th. Now, Originally, uh, Boucher's uh, assault was classified as a misdemeanor because there was no sort of uh, weaponry used, right? Um, but the extent of Paul's injuries could prompt prosecutors to charge Boucher with a felony uh, and upgrade it. And additionally, the FBI is actually assisting state and local authorities to see whether there uh, were any violations of federal law. Now, we don't know the impetus of the disagreement or why he uh, assaulted Rand Paul. There are uh, neighbors who are giving anecdotes about how uh, Rand Paul and Boucher were on opposite sides of the political spectrum, although Boucher's lawyer says that the uh, disagreement was not political in nature. Regardless, you know, even if you do disagree with somebody vehemently uh, about politics, this sort of assault is is unacceptable. Like, there's no reason to hurt somebody uh, in this way. And so, by the I way, the fact that he could hurt him that much without there being a weapon involved, right, I and mean, he um, broke all those ribs, and who is this guy? <laughs> yeah, no, I mean yeah. that, that's a good point. I mean, apparently they had some sort of. Um, relationship through the medical field. Both were were in the medical field in this in their small town, um, and they would they were seen with their dogs walking. Like that's all we know about these. And we'd see them in heated discussions about healthcare. So we don't know a lot. We don't know a lot about his uh, prowess, his physical <laughs> prowess. We don't know a lot about um, the catalyst for this disagreement. It has to be political. I mean, I, I don't want to make. I don't. I mean, I don't want to make. A, I don't want to jump to conclusions, but I. I feel like. <laughs> but I'm jumping. But I'm yeah, gonna jump. She's, she's I'm gonna go ahead and, and take the risk here. <laughs> you think I, it's political? I think that there has to. Yeah, there's some huge disagreement in there that they just couldn't come to terms with, and. As long as we're jumping, I think somebody's having sex with the other guy's wife. That's what I think. All right. <laughs> Thank Based you for jumping. Nothing. Thank you for jumping. All right. Based Based on, that's how these um, fights start, you know. Well, regardless, I don't have if facts. there, if there was, saying. if there was a political disagreement, or if there was a, an affair, we don't know. Regardless, <laughs> though, people it should are have making, uh, yeah. Regardless, it should not have happened. There should be no. There's no excuse for violence like that. There's no reason for violence like that. Um, I, I, I feel for Rand Paul. I feel bad that he's in pain. I feel bad that he yeah. suffered these awful injuries. Um, and so, I mean, this is. I, it'll be interesting to see what happens on November 9th, what charges um, they file against Boucher, uh, and what happens. If you like this clip of the Young Turks, you know there's a whole live two hour show, 6 to 8 p.m. Eastern every day, and you can download it or stream it and watch it without ads if you become a member. TYTnetwork.com slash join.